All right, now to give us more perspective on this, we're being joined by Mr. Mateen Haider, who's a senior journalist who's joining us live from Islamabad. Mr. Haider, thank you very much indeed, sir, for taking time out and speaking to us here and beyond. You know, for viewers who are watching this from outside of the subcontinent, give us a sense of what this Iddat case was and what it means to Imran Khan politically now that he's been acquitted in this case. Uh, well, uh, first, it's, uh, it's a very historic verdict. Uh, uh, given by uh, additional district and session judge Isnabad. And it was basically an appeal uh, against uh, a previous verdict uh, given by uh, Judge Kudratullah, who had uh, in February uh, uh, gave a ruling uh, that uh, former Prime Minister Imran Khan and his grand wife, uh, uh, Busha Bibi, uh, violated the Islamic norms. And Busha Bibi, uh, after seeking divorce, didn't complete the mandatory uh, mandatory time, uh, which is uh, uh, which actually is uh, necessary or imperative to maintain after uh, entering into the second marriage. So this was the case. And uh, interestingly, uh, Busha Bibi's first husband, Kavar Manika, also appeared before the court, court today and in the previous case as well, in which uh, he gave uh, remarks uh, that generated controversy, including some of uh, the remarks and the wording, which were uh, very personal and about the personal life. So it was basically an edit that uh, when a lady gets uh, divorced from the first husband and she is forced to complete uh, a time period, and that time period was not completed by Bushra Bibi. So, that was the uh, sentence given by Judge Kudratullah in February this year, uh, uh, shortly before uh, February 8 elections. And that uh, particular decision, that particular verdict was uh, later on challenged. And today, uh, the court has ruled that the previous sentence given by Judge Kudratullah was, uh, 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 was not correct. It has been declared null and wide. So currently, Right now, the, the court has also issued the release orders for former Prime Minister Imran Khan. So this was the latest case in which uh, former Prime Minister Imran Khan has been acquitted. So he's now a free person, but still kept in the prison. So the court orders are likely to uh, reach to the jail, but he's unlikely to be released because uh, uh, there is another case uh, uh, related to 9th May uh, incident right. in which he has all Yes. Right. Now, this, this, this is interesting here because what, what we have been looking at is a sequence of cases where Imran Khan seems to be acquitted, the Idat case where he's been acquitted today, and earlier he's been uh, in cases such as Tosha Khana and also in the Cypher case that he'd been involved in. He had managed to get verdicts in his favor in those cases as well. Are we now looking at a situation where the legal troubles of Imran Khan are perhaps coming to an end and he can again resume politics? Well, that's correct. Uh, the legal trouble are legal implications for uh, former Prime Minister Imran Khan is uh, almost over. Uh, but uh, since uh, uh, there are issues uh, between Imran Khan and powerful Pakistan establishment, so uh, before the issues resolved, because there have been background negotiations, there have been background uh, diplomacy, but uh, Khan is not surrendering. So uh, uh, and another interesting uh, case was just yesterday in which Pakistani Supreme Court uh, also restored the reserve seats for, uh, for his party. The party has uh, basically converted into Sunni Ittihad Council, but that is also biggest relief for a former Prime Minister Imran Khan. And if you look into the number game in the National Assembly of Pakistan, Khan's uh, party is ahead of Pakistan Muslim League N. Right. Although Pakistan Muslim League N is in a Asian government with Pakistan Papers Party. But currently, as uh, you correctly said, that Khan is gradually coming out of the legal trouble. But uh, the troublemakers are keeping him in the hot waters. Uh, he's right. not likely to be released at Yala Prison in Rawalpindi because another case is ready uh, uh, before him. And in that case, that case is 9th May, in which he's likely to be arrested. All right. Interesting. That, that of course, is something we'll have to wait and watch out for. Mr. Mateen Heather, thank you very much indeed sir, for joining us and getting us that perspective here in Vion.
For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.